Welcome back everyone. I'm so excited for today's interview. For those of you who are new here, I am Cindy Ihanacho. I'm a health behavior science major minoring in forensic science and this is my talk show where I interview obscure but phenomenal individuals. Y'all ready to get started? All right, let's get to asking some questions. Today we have a very special guest. He is remarkable, paved the way for many queer men through his bravery in embracing his true self. He created drag, hosted balls, and served time for it. William Dorsey Swan, the queen of drag, everyone. Welcome. Hello, thank you. So let's not waste any time. You were born into slavery, Swan. How was that? Terrible, I assume. Yes, of course. I don't talk that much about that time in my life, but it is in the past now. Understandable. So, tell us about drag. Drag is a way of expression. I have always felt more feminine than most, and have always enjoyed the extravagant nature of female clothing. Have you always known you were going to embrace that femininity and start dressing so extravagantly? Yes, I've always felt like this, and I do anything that makes me feel happy. What made you decide to host these drag balls? Many of the men I met on my previous plantation expressed how they felt the same way as I do and wished they had a place to express themselves freely. So I decided I would make it happen. That is admirable. And can I add, the attire you all would wear is beautiful. Thank you. Let's take it back to April 12th, 1888, when your drag ball was raided by the police. How was that experience for you? It was frustrating. They came in like we were a bunch of animals, when truly they were. Ripping my clothes off woke the whole building. I could only imagine. You were arrested as well, then later released, correct? You would be correct. Unbelievable. And the first American citizen to be arrested for female impersonation, might I add. You also went on to continue hosting these balls after your release? Yes, that couldn't stop me. Agreed. But you were then also falsely arrested for running a brothel. Yes, unbelievable the hatred people could hold against another group of people. I served 300 days for it. So sad. You requested a pardon from President Cleveland that was later rejected, right? Yes, I even got 30 of my allies to back me up, but they just weren't having it. This was the first time an American citizen fought for queer rights to gather, just to let that be known. Oh. Truly remarkable. Shortly after that, you retired from the drag scene. Why? I was just getting a bit too old. My heart disease was getting bad and I needed to step down and lay low. Completely understandable. I would just like to thank you for your resilience. You were the first person to get arrested for hosting drag balls, the first person to defend queers' rights to gather, but most importantly, you were the founder of drag. Truly inspirational. Thank you for coming out today to tell your story. Thank you for letting me. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the story of William Dorsey Swan, the first drag queen. Thank you for coming. See you again next week. <laughs>